Now, the Indian Air Force has provided more proof against Pakistan. In a press conference, the IAF has presented further evidence on the Pakistan F-16 jet that was shot down by India on the 27th of February. TF aircraft fired multiple AMRAAM missiles which were defeated by use of uh, countermeasures and tactical maneuvers. In the aerial combat that followed, uh, one MiG-21 Bison of the Indian Air Force piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan shot down one F-16 of PAF. This was the location of shooting down. Show the next slide. Uh, the F-16 crashed and fell across the LOC in Pakistan occupied JNK, that's the subscourt area. And the IAF lost one MiG-21 in this aerial engagement which was piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan who ejected safely but his parachute drifted into PO JNK where he was taken into custody by Pakistan Army which is what is depicted on the slide which is the second shoot in the general area Tandar. The Indian Air Force has irrefutable evidence of not only the fact that F-16 was used by PAF on 27th Feb 19, but also that an IAF MiG-21 Bison shot down the PAF aircraft. The Indian Army post in the vicinity of line of control in the Jangar sector under Noshera have visually sighted two separate parachutes. The first sighting was due west in the subscourt area and the second after a few minutes southwest general area Tandar. The two areas are approximately 8 to 10 kilometers apart as shown on the slide. And it is important to note that these two sightings were in locations separated in time and space. The two parachutes were seen from places at a vantage point on our side of LOC. The second is, this is corroborated by radio communication intercepts of Pakistan army formations in the area, which categorically stated capture of at least two pilots, one of them being Wing Commander Abhinandan, and the fact that the second pilot who was captured was sh shifted and admitted to CMH. Thirdly, certain official statements made by the DG ISPR also corroborate the IAF stand. In his initial statement on 27th Feb, DG ISPR categorically said three pilots, one in custody and two in the area. Subsequently, DG ISPR also stated on camera in a press conference that they had two pilots, one in custody and the other admit admitted to the hospital and was being given treatment. The same was also corroborated by the statement by Pakistan Prime Minister on camera also indicating that more than one pilot were involved. All of these conclusively prove that a total of two aircraft had gone down that day in the same area separated by about one to one and a half minutes of time. Analysis of electronic emissions have shown that aircraft picked up by Elent intercept from AVACs and radio transcripts indicated F-16s in the area directly in front of Abhinandan's aircraft. If you could show the slide. Uh, this is also the radar image where you see that in the red circle is uh, there are three of these aircraft, two green lines and the third one is not having a line. These are the three F-16s and the aircraft in green on the right, which is in the blue circle, is Abhinandan's aircraft. This is the radar uh, picture at that point in time. And if we just see the second picture, immediately after, there is no aircraft in that place which was first, uh, the track which was there earlier in the earlier picture. And so, uh, we can uh, conclusively say that 
Indian Air Force has achieved its objectives of successfully striking the terrorist camp at Balakot and thwarting the PAF attack against our military installations, while PAF was unable to achieve its military objectives. There is no doubt that two aircraft went down in the aerial engagement on 27, one of which was Bison, while the other was F-16 of PAF, conclusively identified through its electronic signature and radio transcripts. What has been stated here today is sufficient to prove that PAF has lost an F-16 on 27th February. IAF has more credible information and evidence that is clearly indicative of the fact that Pakistan has lost one F-16 in the air action on 27th February 19. However, due to security and confidentiality concerns, we are restricting the information being shared in public domain. Thank you. Jain. Training camp of Jaish e Mohammed in Balakot. The non military preemptive action. And there we are coming to you live from a press conference that's currently underway where the Indian Air Force has made an official statement on the latest evidence on the Pakistan F 16 jet that was shot down by India on the 27th of February. Now this is the latest um, update and the latest press relief, a release on, uh, from the Indian Air Force and they are providing yet again more proof that India did in fact uh, shoot down this Pakistan F-16 jet uh, in the dogfight between a MiG-21 flown by Abhinandan on the 27th of February. And my colleague Kartikeya Sharma joins us for more on this. Kartikeya, what does this um, this press conference mean? Now there is further proof. And while we are we are waiting to connect with Kartikeya, he will be bringing us the latest on uh, what this means. The Indian Air Force has provided more proof in an official statement now at a press conference uh, showing that in fact there was um, a Pakistani F-16 jet that was shot down by a MiG-21 on the 27th of February. Katakir, what, what do we make of this press conference? I think this uh, press conference has happened because uh, the Pakistan uh, has uh, been consistently trying to send the message that uh, the Indian Air Force uh, was not able to uh, bring down an F-16. Now, uh, for a larger audience, you know, let me put this in perspective. You know, MiG-21 Bison is an old plane. Uh, it has a make of 1960s. They were upgraded in 1970s and early 80s. But it's a wire technology. Now, F-60s were plane uh, which were conceived in 1980s and by 1988-87, uh, they were the pivotal uh, or they were the most important planes in the armor of the military of the United States of America, their Air Force. Now, these planes in batches were given to Pakistan. So, the air superiority of F-16 is unmatched. F-16s can only be tackled by Sukhois or the Mirages. But for a MiG-21 Bison to bring down an F-16 became an ego issue. That is number one. Secondly, Pakistan had been uh, doing a consistently a wrong messaging as if uh, uh, Indian Air Force was not able to do the job. You would remember that uh, Imran Khan went on record to say that the two pilots are in custody and uh, without realizing the fact that the second pilot was their own who was uh, lynched by the people in a village thinking that he, he came from India. Now, that he was the second pilot. There is no clarity on it. None of the officials from the uh, Pakistani government subsequently addressed this issue. Now, importance here is that if I, if, I guess, if I can just take you through the press brief, we have given, shown radar images. You know, the, the nature of evidence shared by the Indian public has been incremental in nature. Uh, obviously, these are military issues. So, now, since the matter again came into public domain, uh, Indian military has shown that Radar images clearly showed that the F-16 crashed and fell across LOC in 
Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir. It says I have lost one MiG-21 in aerial engagement. The pilot being commander, which is Abhinandan, you know, it's in history. So what we have done is we have given more proof that an F-16 was involved in the operation. There were a lot of questions whether F-16 could have been used by Pakistan in an aggressive role against India or any or and, and any way outside their own territory because of the stories which came out that the F-16s were given to them under a clause that they should be used in a defensive role. Now, that was not a defensive role. It was an offensive role because they came inside the Indian territory with other formation and MiG-21 Bisons, Sukhois and other planes were pressed in so that they could be uh, sent back. And the another uh, part of the release says that the two separate parachutes were seen. The first sighting was due west in general area subscourt and it goes on to prove that not one but two pilots went down. And lastly, I think it has become important for Indian Air Force uh, to state it as a fact because Pakistan, in a report which published in American newspaper, said all F-16s have been accounted for. Now, it says the release IF has more credible information and evidence that is clearly indicative of the fact that PF has lost one F-16 in the air action on 27th Feb. However, due to security and confidentiality concern, we are restricting the information being shared in the public domain. So what they felt was should not have been part of a public discourse because when you're, you're talking about radar signature, when you talk about radar signature, you, you tell the other party that you have the capacity to map them. It is like uh, when Kargil war took place and uh, India wanted to send the message that Pakistani regulars the Pakistani light infantry was behind it. The phones which were being tapped between Beijing and Islamabad, they were, put, they were, you know, they were made available to the uh, media houses in India so that the truth could go out. And a lot of people would, would, would have said that you know, we, India could have continued to tap into the information, but sometimes you need to share the truth with public so that we can shape the global outlook. And in this case, uh, the issue is that the Pakistan is a sponsor of terrorism. It harbors terrorists. It, it has created pads for terrorists against India and that needs to be showcased abroad so that a public opinion builds on Pakistan because somehow uh, Pakistan has also managed a lot of fair weather friends like China and still uh, they, it manages to get away and even today Hafiz Saeed cannot be declared a global terrorist because China vetoes it every time. Right, Karthike, uh, if you're joining us at the top of the hour, uh, you are with us on Vion. And Karthike, some very important points you're making there of the specifics being given by the Indian Air Force to debunk the theories uh, that are being circulated that no F-16 was being used. Uh, you know, there were publications, some publications going with unconfirmed reports from the U.S. Uh, reporting that there was no F-16 that was missing uh, from the crew uh, of, the, uh, of the Pakistani side. But there's also this, uh, the theory that, of course, uh, F-16s are not just bought uh, by the Pakistanis from the U.S., but other places as well, including from Jordan. And Indian Air Forces today once again put the ball back in Pakistan's court here. See, it is about why is Pakistan feeling uncomfortable, the fact that we have downed an F-16. Now, the issue is that there, was, there are certain clauses under which the armament is procured. Now, for example, when we uh, procure uh, Chakra, uh, one of the submarines we have taken from Russia, it is a nuclear submarine, but it comes without missiles. So what it does is it trains our uh, personnel so that we do not lose the knowledge of running a nuclear submarine. Now, in this case, you know, Pakistan has also taken a lot of uh, material, military hardware from uh, United States of America and other countries on a guarantee that they would be used for defensive purpose because no foreign country would like to sell an armament or military hardware which can be used offensively and can be traced back to them because these are advanced technologies. F-16 is an advanced plane. So the violation of that, uh, secondly, the fact that they, you know, uh, that a bison which has been upgraded could down an F-16. So it all boils down to, uh, you know, the public opinion in your country, the morale of your Air Force, morale of our Air Force, and what the truth is. The truth is, we down an F-16, mm -hmm. our pilot uh, had to, you know, crash land there because, uh, mm -hmm. because of the fire which was taking place, and that's the truth. But Pakistan feels uncomfortable in this context.
Well, all right, Kartike. Thanks very much indeed for joining us uh, with the very latest there. The Indian Air Force once again holding a press conference, giving it, giving more details of why it is true that the Pakistani F-16 has indeed, uh, the Pakistan side, in fact, did indeed use uh, F-16s. These are live visuals there uh, coming in. Let's listen in. Piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan, shot down one F-16 of PAF. This was the location of shooting down. Show the next slide. Uh, the F-16 crashed and fell across the LOC in Pakistan occupied JNK. That's the subscode area. And the IAF lost one MiG-21 in this aerial engagement, which was piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan, who ejected safely but his parachute drifted into PO JNK, where he was taken into custody by Pakistan Army, which is what is depicted on the slide, which is the second shoot in the general area tandem. The Indian Air Force has irrefutable evidence of not only the fact that F-16 was used by PAF on 27th Feb 19, but also that an IAF MiG-21 Bison shot down the PAF aircraft. The Indian Army post in the vicinity of line of control in the Jangar sector under Noshera have visually sighted two separate parachutes. The first sighting was due west in the subscourt area and the second after a few minutes southwest general area tandem. The two areas are approximately 8 to 10 kilometers apart as shown on the slide. And it is important to note that these two sightings were in locations separated in time and space. The two parachutes were seen from places at a vantage point on our side of LOC. This is the concept of the for one and the fact that the second pilot who was captured was shifted and admitted to CMH. Thirdly, Certain official statements made by the DG ISPR also corroborate the IAF stand. In his initial statement on 27th Feb, DG ISPR categorically said three pilots, one in custody and two in the area. Subsequently, DG ISPR also stated on camera in a press conference that they had two pilots, one in custody and the other admi admitted to the hospital and was being given treatment. The same was also corroborated by the statement by Pakistan Prime Minister on camera also indicating that more than one pilot were involved. All of these conclusively prove that a total of two aircraft had gone down that day in the same area separated by about one to one and a half minutes of time. Analysis of electronic emissions have shown that aircraft picked up by LNT intercept from AVACs and radio transcripts indicated F-16s in the area directly in front of Abhinandan's aircraft. If you could show the slide. This is also the radar image where you see that in the red circle is uh, there are three of these aircraft, two green lines and the third one is not having a line. These are the three F-16s and the aircraft in green on the right, which is in the blue circle, is Abhinanda's aircraft. This is the radar uh, picture at that point in time. And if we just see the second picture, immediately after, there is no aircraft in that place which was first uh, the track which was there earlier in the earlier picture. And so uh, we can uh, conclusively say that Indian Air Force has achieved its objectives of successfully striking the terrorist camp at Balakot and thwarting the PAF attack against our military installations while PAF was unable to achieve its military objectives. There is no doubt that two aircraft went down in the aerial engagement on 27th one of which was Bison, while the other was F-16 of PF, conclusively identified through its electronic signature and radio transcripts. 
What has been stated here today is sufficient to prove that PF has lost an F-16 on 27th February. IAF has more credible information and evidence that is clearly indicative of the fact that Pakistan has lost one F-16 in the air action on 27th February 19. However, due to security and confidentiality concerns, we are restricting the information being shared in public domain. Thank you. Jai. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You may all right, that is the Indian Air Force there giving out details of why they certainly believe that uh, uh, that the Pakistani side had used an F-16. The Indian Air Force in a statement today has said that there is irrefutable evidence of not only the fact that the F-16 was used uh, by the Pakistani Air Force on February 27th, but also that it was shot down by a MiG-21 Bison. And also uh, this was indicated from the maps and the radar uh, readings that um, they also showed in this press conference including uh, saying that the Indian um, Army posts in uh, close to the Yellow Sea and in Noshera had visually sighted two separate parachutes going down and that there were also electronic um, uh, uh, signatures that had then coincided that evidence uh, with the radar uh, mapping of the two, uh, of the two uh, F one F-16 and MiG Bison 21 that had also gone down. And also pointing out that the Pakistani side has... Uh, gone back and forth on whether there was an F-16 used or not, uh, that the fact that the DGISPR also stated on camera uh, in a press conference that they had two pilots, one in custody and the other had been admitted to hospital and was given treatment. So the Indian Air Force once again reiterating that the Pakistani side has in fact used an F-16 in that dogfight on February 27th.